Right, a stopping train ahead, so we'll have to wait for a clear signal. After that, it should be a breeze to the petroleum facility. Alright, who, rem who remembers Hebronoth? The one of the fictional routes in the one of the Railworks games, I don't know. So we're in the class 68. The Armstrong Powerhouse one. It looks really nice. Sounds nice too. Oh yeah, the tail lamp doesn't work. So, math key in, shift W. Ed WS reset. Forward. Dare I off. Break release. You might want to turn your volume up. Oh yeah, we have also have a red coming up, so So there's a stopping train to York ahead of us. So we'll have to wait for that to clear the platform and the signal walk. So this is Hebronoth Station. It's not on any, it's not on any particular line because this entire route is fictional, so none of it is real. So I think in the description on the workshop route it says it's in the northeast. So I assume that train is going to York. So it's going because, it, because it's going south. We you know get yellow so we can move forward to the next signal. So the speed limit across this junction is 25, so we can just start accelerating up to it. So yeah, I just put some random things in the yard because reasons. So by the time you're watching this, E3 would have finished. So I. I mean, the only part of E3 that I really care about is Nintendo. I don't really care about anyone else, like Microsoft or Ubisoft. Or Soft Soft. So, I think what... Uh, for the E3 Direct for Nintendo, I actually went all the way into uni to watch it. I mean, I really enjoyed it. Especially the fact that Banjo-Kazooie is in Smash. Well, the, the fact that Banjo Kazooie is in Smash, there must be a catch with it. Like, did Microsoft give Nintendo a license for Banjo Kazooie if Nintendo bought some Minecraft stuff in it or something else related to Ma uh, Microsoft? But there, maybe there's a new Banjo game coming, I don't know. Oh yeah, and Luigi's Mansion 3. I don't know what to think about. I mean, I like it, but I wish they brought the Porsche gloss back or something like that instead of instead of the same thing as the Dark Moon. 
formula. What's that Nintendo? Yeah, the thing about the Breath of the Wild sequel, I'm not really that interested in Zelda. I don't really care. But I know everyone is kind of losing their minds over it. So I think he just saw Link and Zelda in front of the beast thing and it just turns his head with red eyes. Also that other like music type thing Zelda's got. It, it begins with C. Is that like Cassidy of Hyrule or something? So the line to the left goes to the container ports. Coming up now is the main yard used for all sorts of stuff. So I didn't feel that yet with too much stuff, just put some coal hoppers, just and some ballast stuff in it, and a 66. Then the 66 coming the other way with a log train from the woodyard to somewhere, Moss End, by the East Coast Main Line. So then there used to be like an old station here. I, th I think you can see why it was abandoned because there's absolutely nothing here. There's a tall building on the left that belongs to the petroleum facility, which we which is where we're going to. I really do like the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 68. I really do like it. It's definitely a big fix for the, the um, DTG's one. It's for the bugs that one. Maybe I'm going to do the next episode of Train Team with Class 800. Seems every time I upload a video of an 800, it gets hundreds of views. So on the right is the train maintenance depot. I put some stuff in there, I put a 59, a 66, a 68, and a 70, and some other stuff. Also got a yellow. Totally just another red signal is just right around the corner, but this train takes ages to stop.
Just so we're approaching the danger signal. Now, so just slowly just creeping up to it. So that's uh, another six eight with some TTA wagons heading to the general yard. I think they're empty. I think they should be empty. Maybe they're full. Maybe they'll be part of different trains. So this route, I think it originally came with Railworks for free, I think, and now it's on the Team Workshop. So. I'm using the one that came originally with Railworks and not the one for the workshop. So I tried to put this scenario on the workshop, but it said the it just had a fit, so you can't do it. So after that single banging sound, we now have a green. So then we can now proceed. So now we're on the single track line to the petroleum facility. So we should be there in a couple of minutes. So we're due in at 1620. Just decelerating to 15. Oh yeah, what's I saying? The new dev highlight from for Transport Fever 2. What am I, what, wait, why am I being up here? I don't know. Let's talk about it anyway. So, if you haven't seen the dev highlight, it's about infrastructure, about where you, how you build train platforms and traffic lights. Like my biggest question is, if you're building a station with different components, how would the pricing work? Is it like per module? Also, how would it work on a slope? Like, can you just adjust the angle of each component, or will it just align itself to the terrain? Just quickly flip the junctions there, I was going into the wrong place. 
like a pro. So this is a partially facility where the scenario finishes. Uh, it's not entirely finished. I have to stop here, uncouple the T wagons, hoppers, tankers, and then just move next to the HST that has been abandoned here. Yeah, it's kind of sad that HSCs don't run into London anymore. And stopped. Now I'm just to wait here for a second. You've arrived at the tanker destination. I'll couple them and head into shunt 3. Head to shunt 3. Okay. I can do that. There we go, avoid a derailment, That's, that would be helpful. Oh yeah, we're driving 60 year old war if you haven't noticed yet. And we're just going to pull up right next to this HST that's been abandoned. So we're going to use a local brake because this is just a light engine. And like that. And we can just shut the engine off. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.